Question, would you like to see where your dinner came from? Okay, maybe you had some adventurous foreign fare tonight or it came out of a vending machine and you'd rather not know. But do you think we should have the right to see where our food comes from? That question is at the heart of a battle between animal rights activists and farmers, a fight spurred by those who slip into the American food chain undercover with hidden cameras rolling. Here's ABC's Brian Ross for our series, Nightline Investigates. Thank you very much. It's a glamorous, celebrity-packed awards event held every year in Beverly Hills. Thank you for giving me this award. These are the Genesis Awards. But unlike the Oscars or the Emmys, there is nothing very entertaining about some of the women. In fact, they can be downright gruesome to watch. The Genesis Awards are given by the Humane Society of the United States and often honor graphic, undercover videos of animal cruelty and mistreatment at what are called factory farms. In the video tells the truth. It shows what's going on. I mean, Wayne Pacelli, the head of the Humane Society, says such yes, undercover good. videos yeah. have been the key to tough new anti-cruelty laws. Like this video, which revealed the use of diseased cows for beef sold to consumers. This led to the largest meat recall in American history. And this one, which exposed cruelty and unsanitary conditions at major pork producers. The only reason this has been of interest is because the footage is so shocking. The cruelty is so revolting. The sanitary conditions are so appalling. That's what has triggered this response. But now all of that could be coming to an end. Under pressure from the agriculture industry, at least five states now have laws making it a crime to go undercover on farm properties to record videos, and many other states are considering it. The law passed in Utah last year as legislators called animal rights groups terrorists and the enemy. And as people that's vegetarian people that's trying to kill the animal industry. This is about a group of people that want to put us out of business. Make no mistake about it. In Iowa, the law passed just a few months after an ABC News report, which won a Genesis Award, featuring undercover footage at a huge Iowa egg factory, taped by the group Mercy for Animals. Yet the investigator who took this footage could be committing a crime if he did the same thing now under the bill signed into law by the Iowa governor. If somebody comes on somebody else's property through fraud or deception or lying, that is a serious violation of people's rights. And agriculture industry lobbying groups have used their influence and money to try to expand the ban on undercover farm exposés to more than a dozen other states. Cows, they like cold better than they like heat. As part of the effort, they cite what happened to dairy farmers Louis and Sharon Betancourt of Idaho. I am angry the way we've been treated. An undercover investigator with Mercy for Animals got a job at the Betancourt's huge dairy operation last year and made these disturbing videos of fellow workers handling the cattle, including the use of electric prods. The five employees caught on tape were fired. One pleaded guilty to criminal charges, and two others have charges pending. Even the Betancourt's agree it was a damning video. That's animal cruelty. But the Betancourts claim they had no idea of the mistreatment until authorities told them about the video and questioned why the animal rights undercover investigator never told them directly so they could stop the abuse sooner. He was an employee of ours. He should have reported to the manager or to us. If he had, we would have taken care of him. Shocking a video of alleged animal abuse at a dairy farm in Idaho. Instead, it became a big story across the country. Shown stomping, dragging, and beating cows. And the Betancourt say they began to get phone and email death threats. If it were in my power, I would blow you off the face of the earth. I pray you are punched, kicked, and prodded to a slow, torturous death. Killing me, killing my kids, killing my grandkids. My whole family and my employees are getting threatened. You know. Agricultural lobbyists claim that the agenda of the animal rights groups is not really the humane treatment of animals, but instead getting publicity, promoting a vegan lifestyle, and hurting farmers. You can look on some of those websites and, and see that um, some of them do claim to want to end the use of, of animals um, for food. Kelly Ludlam, the director of congressional relations for the American Farm Bureau, even suggested some of the videos might be staged. I think there's a concern with the way that, that groups with 
um, their own agendas uh, may um, come in and video things that that are happening on farms, or even stage things to happen on farms. I mean, you have to. You think, if someone, you think they've staged things? I can't. I can't prove that. I don't. You just said it. No, if that's the case. But certainly, these groups have an agenda. But authorities in Idaho who use the video to bring the criminal charges say there is no indication anything was staged. But why didn't Mercy for Animals simply tell the owner what they found and stop the abuse sooner? This is not our duty for the, to tell the owners. It's their duty to know what's going on in their facility. And it was so egregious that it rises to the level of criminal animal abuse. In fact, the Benton courts themselves concede they are now using the video they so object to to train employees in their zero tolerance policy for cruelty. There's some good that has come from this. Yeah. But not enough, in the view of farm lobbyists, to stop the efforts that have already made such undercover taping on farms illegal in five states. We're not currently doing our investigations in those five states. Because of those laws? That's right. So they have stopped you? They have, yeah. It is truly an honor to be here. And the same is true for sponsors of the Genesis Awards, the Humane Society of the United States. So they have won this round in those five states. If you think that chilling speech and closing the curtain on our food production system is winning, yes, they've won. So far this year, similar legislation has been introduced in at least six states, and animal rights groups expect other states to follow. They fear that 2013 could be the year that they will lose one of their most powerful weapons, the hidden camera videos that agricultural interests seem so desperate to stop.